Hey guys, it's your boy Lin Paul, and welcome to this video. Do you want to become a faster skater? Well, I have one simple trick. And in five easy steps, your dreams can come true. What am I talking about? I'm talking about pushing with both feet. I know, I know, it's insane. How do you do that? Oh, I can never, I can't even, I can barely push with one foot. It's okay, it's okay. I'm here, I can help you. With five simple steps, you'll be pushing with your opposite foot and both feet flawlessly and in no time at all. So I wanna preface, you're not switching your stance. You're just switching which foot you're balancing on and which foot you're pushing with. You stay in your regular stance and you push with the opposite foot to normal. So step one, you practice pushing up an incline, which is less steep than a hill. And then you practice foot breaking back down. This will build your strength while adding stability to deal with the lack of balance. Because when you're pushing up a hill, you get resistance and you, you don't feel as though the board's gonna fly out from under you. So you wanna find a decently sized hill like this. And you wanna just push up it. And you're just gonna push up it on your back foot. And then when you're done, just foot break all the way back down. Again, on your back foot. So you want to foot break all the way down on your opposite leg. And that's step one. Now step two, go on long, easy pace treks, only using your other leg to push. Try taking long, slow strides, really emphasizing the balance on that opposite leg. Try to skate around town, skate to school, skate to the bus, skate to work, skate to the store, and force yourself to only use your other leg. Go slow and be patient. Your balance will eventually catch up. It will suck and it's gonna feel really awkward at first, but it will get better. Just grind it out. So you wanna go on some long treks on the opposite foot, you know, just pushing. It's gonna suck at first, but you really just need to like have the quality time on the opposite leg and you'll get used to it and you'll be okay. And that's step two. Oh, I'm eight. I'm eight it. Step three. Practice short distance sprints on your opposite leg. This can be anything under a mile. If you're going past a mile, you're going too far. Focus on speed, pushing efficiency, and form. The power and balance will come naturally from these last three steps. You wanna do this for reps, and you wanna do this consistently. All right, so step three. Now that you've gotten a little bit of balance, a little bit of practice, you can focus on going fast with sprints on your opposite leg. Now, step four, practice the transition. Go on long treks, pushing with this exact technique. Push with your regular leg, shuffle your feet, then push with your opposite leg. Then shuffle your feet, and then push with your regular leg. Shuffle your feet, and push with your opposite leg. And so on and so forth. Do not push twice in a row with the same foot. Master that transition by drilling it constantly. You can also practice short sprints with this same technique. Regular leg, position feet, opposite leg, position feet, regular leg, position feet, opposite leg, so on and so forth. This is not how you're gonna be skating forever, but this will help you speed up that transition period between switching from one foot to the other. All right, so for this step, right, you push, you switch your feet, you push again. You switch your feet, you push again. You switch your feet, you push again, and you go back and forth. You try not to push on the same foot twice if you can. You're really just drilling and grinding out that transition. And that's step four. And step five, put it all together in a long track. Push normally for several strides, then switch to your opposite foot. Push normal for several strides and switch back. You can also try this during short sprints as well with the same technique, pushing normally for several strides, then switch to your other foot. Push for several strides and switch back. All right, so step five, you can put it all together in a normal pushing kick in. Push a little bit with your normal foot, Switch feet, push with your front foot now. 
switch feet, so on and so forth. Congratulations, you can now push with both feet. Now, the key to this system is you have to stick on each step for at least one full week each. That means this should take at a bare minimum five weeks and if you feel like you need to go back then go back and add extra time to a step but never cut a step short you should be spending at least five to seven days weather permitting on each of these steps now you can go for 10 days two weeks on each step that's fine whatever whatever you see fit stay at your own pace not mine but never cut a step short and if you follow this step by step and you're patient and you put in the work then congratulations you can now push on two feet. It's been your boy, Lin Paul. You know the drill. If you like what you've seen here and you wanna see more, give me a like, give me a comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon, or I will show up as your sleep paralysis demon. Anyway, in a bit, deuces. And I really got no niche rub with me on a Sunday. Pretty tweet, hezzy, hezzy, I would just lay on sheets, turn with me.